oh my god, it has been the longest time since I last said that. I've been gone for quite a while, so I thought that it was only right to do a video that was quite chatty and just giving you guys a bit of an update of where I've been. Yeah, so it's just more of a, a sort of update really. I was feeling in a chatty mood anyway, so I thought why not do a get ready with me. As you can see, I've got big lashes, I've got glitter. Yeah, I would say for me this is probably more of like a night out look. If you guys want to see how I got this look, as well as just having a bit of catch up with me, then please keep watching. So my brows are already done. I've got an eyebrow tutorial which I'll link down below if you want to go and see how I do those. But I have changed my routine a little bit recently. I, I now use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow instead of the powder. So I might do an updated one at some point. If you want to see that then let me know. I'm just going to start by priming my eyes. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. The focus on this, I know, like, when I do um, get ready with me, it's because I'm talking throughout it, obviously, I, I can't, well, I don't edit as much, obviously, because I want the conversation to be, like, you know, flowing. But, whereas when I'm doing voiceovers, if the camera goes out of focus, I can try and edit out some of that as much as I can if it's like too much. I still really need to learn how to use my frigging camera. I have actually got a Canon remote and I've had a Canon remote for months now but I just don't know how to use it. I have used it once um, and I did the whole thing where you like press the button to put yourself in focus and then from then on then you press record with the same button and then you don't have to worry about the face tracking, going in and out, just, it still wasn't working, like for some reason it wasn't very clear, so I think it might have been because I wasn't using manual a manual setting, I, I need to play around with that again and test that out, so apologies if the focus isn't too great, if it keeps going in and out, but hey ho, I mean I've only had this camera for a year, so you know. <laughs> I need like some YouTube friends so somebody can come and teach me, come and show me how. I'm just setting my eyes with a little bit of some powder. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette and start with this as a transition shade. This is actually my second time filming this. I filmed yesterday as I was cooking dinner. I thought, let me just, you know, check the footage because I'd just finished filming. I took the memory card out and I noticed that it was, like, chipped. I thought, let me just try. Um, I knew it wouldn't and, of course, I put it in and the memory card just, yeah, the laptop didn't register it or anything. <sighs> so, I'm so, like, so gutted. I just couldn't believe it. I'm filming this again for the second time. And I'm hoping that it all goes smoothly. To be fair though, so I suppose I am quite lucky because I've been doing this for a year now and I've never really had any major problems. Like, okay, when I've been editing, all my footage has gone corrupt and I've had to edit that again, which has been annoying. But I've never, like, completely lost everything um, where I've had to refilm. So... For the first time, you know, it had to happen at some point, didn't it? So I can't really complain. Right, okay, I've been blending this transition for like 12 minutes. Jeez, okay, hurry up, June. This ready orange colour, I'm just putting that a little bit below where I put that first transition colour. I forgot what I'm saying now. I can't remember. <laughs> Oh my god guys, a long time no see since I last was active on YouTube, since I last filmed something on YouTube. Well, I've been watching when I can YouTube videos, but I've just not, just not really had much spare time. So. so where have I been? After my last video, I started a new job. And then, I started that for like a week, and then I went on holiday with 
my Bezzy. We went to Greece for two weeks, which was so much fun. It was really relaxing. I stayed at Kaya's mum's place. Sorry, I'm talking so slow. <laughs> I'm trying to like talk and do makeup at the same time, which is really difficult. I stayed at Kaya's mum's place for most of the time. She lives in Kiparasia, Kaya's mum, Tamara. But before we went there, we went to Athens and we stayed in this beautiful hotel because it was Tam's 50th birthday. Tam absolutely spoiled us. It was just amazing. Like We had cocktails, we just had so much fun and it was just a really lovely girly time. So yeah, I'm not going to really tell you much about it because I vlogged. I have to get around to editing it and that's going to take me a million years to do because as usual when I vlog, I just get so much footage, like I can't stop talking. I really enjoy vlogging, so I have so much to edit and everything like that. So I'm probably going to split that into maybe two parts, maybe three, depending on how long it is. Okay, what I've done is I've slightly changed how I did my eyes yesterday, and I think I preferred them a little bit more yesterday. So, um, I'm going to just go in with this bright orange colour, probably mix these two actually to make it not quite as bright. I'm just going to pop that um, just slightly above that reddy orange colour just because when I added that in yesterday I forgot how, I, I just feel like it added a little bit more something. So I'm just going to add that back in at the top. This is a thing, when you do a look a second time, you always change something, even if it's very slightly, like, it's really difficult to recreate it exactly how you did it. Um, never mind. Twitter. I'm not answering my phone because it took me like four hours to film yesterday because of all the interruptions. So, yes. Yeah, so I've still not finished explaining where I've been. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so I went on holiday for two weeks after I got my new job. And then obviously when I got back, I started work again. And at the moment I've got builders in. Been in for a week, I think they're in for another week. So my nan's also here at the moment. She's been so great. She's been like looking after the place in the daytime. So she's here when they're like doing all the work and everything. It's just been a bit difficult to film because obviously there just hasn't been much time. Yeah, so my nan's been here for the last week, uh, nearly two weeks. She's been helping me out. So while the builders have been here in the daytime, obviously she's been here in case they need anything. So she's been so great. She's also been like helping me keep on top of like the cleaning as well and cooking dinner for me in the week. So when I get back from work, thanks Nan if you're watching. <laughs> oh, I think she's just come back. Cause I can hear the door. Thought I heard the door. <laughs> yeah. You're back. Yeah. Um, do you need to come in the kitchen? Well, I want to grab a cup of tea or something. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Can I take, I take the kettle out? No, 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 it's fine, you can come. You sure? It's all right, I'll pause it, yeah. It's funny, I was just talking about you. Ah, nice. <laughs> I was just saying that you're, um, you've been really good and you've been here for the last week or so helping me out. And... Guys, I'm going to pause this for a little while until my nan's made a cup of tea. Right, so let's carry on. I'm going to deepen this up a bit with a bit of brown. I'm now going to use this brown here, very warm. Just taking a slightly smaller brush and applying that lower down. I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, so I think I was saying uh, <laughs> this might be the third time that I've said the sentence. Yep, yeah, so once I got back from holiday um, and I was trying to get into like a routine with my new job. Um, so to be honest, I'm still in that stage of trying to get 
into some sort of like get into the swing of everything. You know what it's like when you change a routine and it's just like takes a while for you to get back into it, like back into all the things you were doing before. So from being honest, ever since I started that job, I haven't really done much of what I usually do. So like I haven't worked out. I've just wanted to come home, watch Love Island and go to bed. And so trying to keep the flat tidy, going to bed early, working out, YouTube, and then still having time for family and friends as well with a full-time job is just, I think it's quite difficult. And once you organize yourself and you get used to it, then you can find ways to work around it, obviously. But yeah, at the moment, I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm still trying to get used to the different shift patterns at work. I have missed YouTube so, so much. Funny actually, me and my friend were talking the other day about making sure you still keep doing things for yourself. Like when things get busy, it's really easy to just focus all of your energy onto whatever it is that you're doing that is, you know, making you so busy. But we were saying that it's really important to at least still do like one thing that you still really enjoy, just so you can sort of, you know, keep your sanity and everything. So it's really important to me to still carry on with YouTube because I just, enjoy it so so much and yesterday when I filmed that video even though obviously um, I couldn't use any of the footage I can't tell you how happy I was after I'd finished filming I'd wanted to for so long to film something so it's like this buzz that you get like you just feel in such a good mood and like I can't explain it but I just get like YouTube is my happy place and I just felt so good after I finished filming that the plan was to edit this today, to get it up today, but it's Sunday and there's no way I'm going to be able to do that today because I've still got a lot of other stuff to do, but at least I know that I should be able to get it up for next weekend, hopefully. When I was away and everything, I thought that like there's no way that anyone would really even notice that I was gone. Um, so it was so nice because I had like a few people comment and say like, where are your videos and we miss your uploads and I was so like, happy but that really did like make my day because I was just like wow so someone's noticed that yeah YouTube just makes me so so happy I'm now going to take this colour and I think I'm going to put it like mm, maybe not quite on the lid but like a little bit above because uh, yesterday I just put the glitter on uh, I'm going to use some glitter by the way which is the same colour as this like coppery red colour and it just felt a little bit like it needed some sort of transition. I'm just going to put that a little bit above as I said. I'm going to take this colour, it's a very dark brown, changed my mind. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to take this brown. Put that sort of on the outer V. I entered this competition called Next Top Vlogger, and it actually was um, well it was ran by Phil Unique. Basically, it was a competition where you had to upload a one-minute review either to Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, explaining why you love a product as much as you do. So it could be a beauty product or a hair product or something like that. I entered the competition. I found out about it really late through Instagram, um, but I thought it sounded really cool. So I thought, okay, I'll give this a go. Once everyone has submitted their videos, 20 of those people get to go through to the next round. The winner gets a chance to like, help out with this campaign with Feel Unique and you get to win like some camera equipment. Yeah, it sounded quite cool and everything. So I wasn't expecting to get through to the next stage or anything because obviously there's so many amazing YouTubers out there that work really hard and everyone has great content so it must have been so difficult for the judges to pick. I didn't get through to the next round or anything but I just think it's such a good idea to have something like that because as far as I know, there aren't really many competitions or many events, correct me if I'm wrong, 
with like acting or singing or any other artsy type things like there's always something for that but there isn't really something like that for YouTube so I think that is such a cool idea to have. I just really enjoyed entering that competition. It's really nice to feel like included because obviously YouTube can be like quite difficult sometimes and feel like you're making uh, videos and you're not sure if people are watching or if people are enjoying them and it's just nice to have an event like that where you have the chance to be noticed. I spoke for a minute about the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I absolutely am in love with that palette and have been so obsessed over the last few months. Looking back, I don't know if it was that um, informative, like, I think I just rambled a little bit. But never mind, like I said, it was still like a really good experience. I'm really glad that I did it and everything and it was really good fun, so. I'm gonna use this NYX Face and Body Glitter I don't know what colour it's in, but it's like a coppery red colour. So I'm just going to put it all over, but it would also be really pretty to just sprinkle like a little bit of it on. So let's put the lash glue on. i quickly put that on before it sets. I'm just using this little fine brush. Tap it in. This is the fun part. I absolutely love putting glitter on, it's just, it's just so much fun. I'm going to do eyeliner, and I'm not going to do that on camera because it's difficult to apply eyeliner on top of glitter anyway, and it's difficult to apply eyeliner anyway, never mind when you don't even have glitter on, so yeah. Wings are done. I just used my L'Oreal Black Lacquer Super Liner, and it just looks like that. The lashes I'm wearing are the Pinky Goat Lashes, and this is in the Style Ruba. I actually tried these on for the first time yesterday, and um, I wasn't sure if I liked them, but you know what it's like sometimes when you're halfway through doing your makeup, and when it's not yet complete, sometimes it just doesn't look right, but I do really like those lashes now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on. So eyelashes are on, um, I can breathe, you know what it's like when you're applying eyelashes and you just hold your breath until you know that they're secure. These are quite different to what I'm used to, like they're a lot more heavy, glam, they're actually quite big but I really really like them. My eyes are actually in general are quite big. Can anyone stretch their eyes that big? Apologies if I just made you jump out of your skin. But yeah, I think my eyes are quite big anyway, so I can carry off like longer lashes. So I'm trying to experiment a bit more. So we'll move on to the face. My Estee Lauder Double Wear in bronze. I would usually prime, but I'm not going anywhere after this. I'm literally just going to take this off, go and wash my hair, and get back into my pajamas. So no need to waste the primer. I did have a tan when I was on holiday, um, it was quite, I went quite dark actually but a lot of it's gone really. What I was doing is I was mixing in my foundation with some darkening drops which I got from the body shop and actually they're really good. I wasn't sure at first what I thought about them. First when you apply them, yeah they do look a little bit like too cool toned and like they're not going to mix in well but once you blend it in like honestly it's absolutely fine it's just on like first application i would really recommend those darkened drops the eyeshadow palette i ended up taking with me was the morphe 3501 just because obviously that palette just is so versatile like it goes for everything it just looks so beautiful for summer for winter beautiful warm colours in there so that's what I took with me. I did intend on taking though, um, I ordered the new Carly Bybell palette. I ordered this actually at the beginning of May and it still hasn't come and I was quite annoyed about that and I contacted custom services. They said that it had been attempted to be delivered but on the day that they said that I was in the house all day and nobody had knocked on the door or even like left anything. Like, you know, when they leave a little note to say, we missed you, I didn't get anything like that. At the time when they contacted me, I was on holiday anyway. But the date that they said that the palette came, I was at home. Oh, and they were saying that they had to, like, file the claim or something. 
with this company because it had gone missing and said to me to contact my local post office because it had been delivered. But then when I used the tracking details to see where it was, I saw that it had been sent back to California. So I was like, what? It's ridiculous, like it's been over two months. But they've not provided me with the goods. So BH Cosmetics, I don't know what's going on. It's not, not great. I really wanted to take that palette away with me as well because it's such a beautiful palette and I just thought it would be so perfect for summer and obviously it's got the different highlight shades as well for like a range of lighter to darker skin so I thought it would be great when I've got a tan. Yeah, so I was quite annoyed about that but never mind. I'm going with my LA Pro Girl Concealer again but this time I'm going to mix a little bit of pure beige and a little bit of cream beige. anyone been watching Love Island? For those of you that don't know about Love Island, I'm sure you do because I'm pretty sure the whole world is obsessed with it, including me. If you don't know about Love Island, for those of you that aren't in the UK, it's a programme where um, lots of guys and lots of girls go on and basically they get coupled up with people that they like and then they get eliminated after a certain amount of time and they do like fun challenges and it's a reality TV show really it's a bit like Big Brother but Love Island and it is the best program ever I know a lot of people don't like reality TV shows but I have to say I absolutely love them who is your favorite I've missed all this week so I've got like six episodes to catch up on let's bake I'm gonna use Laura Mercier my good old friend. So I've actually been baking on a day-to-day -day basis just to make my makeup last as long as possible. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I just think it gives you a really flawless under eye and obviously helps to set your makeup for as long as possible. I was absolutely loving Montana from Love Island. Like she seemed like such a genuine person and she was just like, you know the type of girl that like you want to be friends with and the type of girl that like everyone fancies. Really nice down-to-earth girl, which was quite funny and stuff. But I don't know what's happened in the last week, but people keep going on about how she's changed and how she's actually, like, not genuine. So I don't know what's happened, but obviously something has gone down. On Twitter, like, when Love Island is on, it's like a running commentary. I love that. So even though I've not been able to watch it, I feel like I am, because I just look at Twitter to sort of get little updates and stuff. But yeah, apparently her and Gabby are like enemies, which is really strange because they were friends. And also her and Camilla aren't like buddies anymore and they were really close. So I don't know what's been going on there. But... Oh, Chris, I absolutely love Chris. So many people, sorry, I've got like a stray hair. It's just, yeah, so many people love Chris. It's really funny as well because when he first started Love Island, he was a little bit of a, a little bit of a twat, if I'm being honest. He was like one of those guys that's just like really cocky he knew everything he was just really annoying but um he's grown on so many people he's actually such a funny funny guy he's really nice and he's just so sweet as well yeah love island has just taken over my summer like <laughs> love island makes my summer i've been recording recording i've been recording for nearly two hours like seriously this is why i don't do get ready with me that often let's do the brow bone first so i think i'm gonna mix like this matte shade with a bit of glitter, but I don't want it to be too glittery, so I think I'm going to take these two here. So I'm going to take this colour here and put that right in the inner corner. Battery's flashing, battery's flashing. I'm also going to take this gold here, putting that on the inner corner, but just not quite as much inside, more outside. Oh man, I always get so much eyeshadow in my eye when I'm doing my lower lash line, like, oh. At the moment, it's looking like that. I think I should just go and change the battery because this is gonna cut out on me and I'm gonna forget and then it's just not gonna be recording. So, I'll be back. Just had a toilet break and biscuit break. <laughs> I'm starting to get hungry. 
I don't really have much for breakfast. Yeah, it's like lunchtime now. Speaking of breakfast, just because it reminds me, Sammy just put up her wedding video. So I got to enjoy that while I was having my breakfast. Guys, oh, it was so beautiful. I feel like I'm getting a little bit, oh, I'm so stupid. I feel like I'm getting a little bit emotional now just thinking about it. But as I was watching it, I have to admit, I did cry. It was just so stunningly edited. That was so lovely to watch. I'm now gonna take some of this orange. Red, orange color. Eyes I think are done. Can you guess what contour kit I'm going to use? Because I use it in every video. The Sleek Contour Kit in Dark. I really want to get a new background. I've had no background really. Part of the reason though is because I film in my kitchen. I haven't finished blending this out by the way, which is why it looks a bit funny. Um, yeah, I film in the kitchen, so so I wanted to have like a desk behind me or something. There just wouldn't really be that much room. I don't know, but maybe I could hang something up behind me, like some sort of sheet and put some fairy lights. I don't know, I just like, I'm getting really bored of this just like white background. Dab out my nose contour with a beauty blender because like sometimes the brush ends up smudging it and then you end up getting it like here which sort of defeats the purpose of contour um, whereas sponge just helps to not move powder around it keeps it in one place so it does a good job at like softening a little bit moving on to one of my favourite steps it's highlight and this is actually a new-ish highlight. It's the Becca Shivering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I tapped my brush in just once and it's put on that much product. Like, so yeah, little goes a long way with this as well. Yes, yes, yes. Highlight is just, oh, it's just the best thing ever. I love when you can see the makeup look coming together. My NYX setting spray in Dewey. Don't think I can ever do any less than like 50 sprays. <laughs> Might as well check my phone while I'm waiting for that to dry. Stop looking for love, go yeah, you still got time. Go yeah, you still got time. Go yeah, you still got time. Stop looking for love, you still got time. Go yeah, you still got time. Go yeah, you still got time. This could be something if you let be something. Lonely way. Just reminded me, by the way that Zane song and it's making me think of like One Direction. I must say I saw Niall performing on The Voice Kids UK last week and I thought it was a really good performance. Like obviously a few of the One Directioners are doing their own thing now. I absolutely love Zane's voice and I do really like his music. To be honest Liam's I thought I would love because he's sort of going down the hip hop route now and I do really enjoy like R&B hip hop music. I must say though, his last song that he did, uh, how's that, what's it called? Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it goes, Girl, I like the way, da da da, won't you step that down for me, baby? Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, that song. And um, I did think that like, the words were a little bit like, I don't know, cheesy? I wasn't that keen on the song, like, the beat of it was good, but yeah, I don't know. And also I think Harry's songs as well, like he's a brilliant songwriter. I've seen his performances that he's done of his uh, latest songs by the times and that is amazing. But yeah, I never really thought that much about Niall being a solo singer, I suppose, because he never really used to have many of the lead lines when he was in the band. But I actually think that possibly his song, uh, what's it called? 
I'm really bad at remembering things. Something about hands. Oh yeah. Cause I want you bad. Cause I want you baby so slow hands. Let me sweat dripping down by the morning. I know that I need to help you run Obviously I don't know the lyrics. I think that's actually a really good song. It's really catchy and like, yeah. So Niall, you're, um, he's doing quite good in the solo career, isn't he? I'm gonna take my Rimmel Thousand Kisses lip liner. NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I think I am pretty much done. Oh, my hair is so messy, it's wash day, so, yeah. <laughs> I walked into the living room and my nan went, goodness me, those lashes are massive. <laughs> and she said, you look like that, who's that character? You look like Pocahontas. And I was like, oh, thanks. Disney character, I'll take that. <laughs> they are pretty big lashes, but I do really like them. of this chatty get ready with me. I've been filming for such a long time. I think I've actually been filming for nearly three hours, but I did sort of take my time and I was talking quite a lot. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna be. Hopefully it's not like, you know, I don't know, super, super long. But if you've made it to the end, then like, well done. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. I hope that you guys did like this. If you did, then please make sure to give this a thumbs up. Comment down below and also subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.